Hi guys, uh, welcome the initiative to Basement Door um, Q and A's. Um, so yeah, how are you all doing? You good? Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for cool. us. Okay, so we do a little loop round and say, you know, who's who's who. So um, say who you are and uh, what you do in the band. Uh, start with me. Is yeah, it yeah, yeah, can do. <laughs> um, I'm Tom. Um, I'm the bass player, and I also play uh, saxophone for a couple of songs as well. Cool. Theo. Uh, uh, I'm Theo. I'm the singer, and I play rhythm guitar on some of the songs as well. Cool. Jay. Hey, I'm Jay. I play drums for the band. Cool. And I'm Louie, and I play lead guitar. Wicked. Okay. Sweet. So yeah, so we um Tom, you had another band before this, didn't you? What were what they called? Yeah, cool so uh, I was in a band called um A Cool from Kate. Um A Cool from and Kate. I, I That's was it. Then, and Jay was uh, Jay was drumming. Yeah. And uh there was another member on the guitar. But uh he now <laughs> plays in what happens next. Yeah, we, we fell out, yeah. but yeah, know, it's all good, it's all good. It's all good, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that was because uh, you were in the Battle of the Bands last year with that yeah, band. Yeah, we did, we did the Battle of the Bands last year. Um, didn't get very far, yeah. uh, <laughs> probably for a reason. <laughs> well, um, this is what I was saying because like last year and the all the years before, we've never done a junior and senior round, and yeah. it's always been a bit difficult for me because I've seen bands, younger bands like yourselves, and I've gone, "That's a real shame they didn't get through to the finals because." They're really good and there's a lot of potential there and growth. Mm -hmm. So that's why this year what we did was we split it into two groups and we said we're going to have a junior and senior so that a junior band will get through to finals and a junior band will win, you know, yeah. as well as a senior band winning. I thought it was just a much fairer way of doing it. So I was really yeah. pleased that, you know, sort of, and you've got through this year to the final. Yeah, yeah, we got through new bands. Yeah, um, yeah really happy. And we're that. doing that tomorrow. <laughs> no. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Please, let's do the Battle of the Bands finals tomorrow. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've got. Um, I think that's going to be a massive night. That's the first thing we're going to book when we go back in. Oh, yeah. oh, it's going to be a massive. massive night. I think we're going to have to, we're going to have to clear a, a whole park area to do it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which would be good. Um, so yeah, um, and then and then you form this band, yeah, um, this year and everything, and um, that's, it's been quite good. And Theo, I know you joined. How when did you join Theo? Oh, um. Uh, over the summer, I think. Right, July, August. Was I the last person yeah. to join? Or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was the last I person. The so how did you mm. get to join in the band then? Don't say... So... Because um, I know that sort of like, so Tom was the person in the beginning, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I was originally going to sing. Invited me in. Yeah, because um, I sort of wanted to concentrate on the bass playing. Um, so I thought, let's get in a singer. Uh, and uh, he goes to the he goes to our school. Uh, me and Jay know him quite well. We've heard yeah. him in a few concerts at school, so we thought, you know what, mate, come and have a try out. And obviously, mm. you know he's exceptional. So yeah, uh, very yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we found Louis. we found Louis because of you, Kev. I was like, oh yeah, yes. yeah. I came I came down to one of the gigs, and then <laughs> we were sort of just there, and you're in a bit of a rush. And then I was like, oh yeah, I played the guitar. And then you're like, oh yeah, Tom, you need a guitarist, don't you? And then he was like, uh, yeah. yeah. And then, and then yeah. he sent me an email. <laughs> oh, no, not, not the email. Oh, yeah. So it happens a lot, I think, doesn't it? <laughs> I didn't have any any other way to contact you because the email was only. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <sighs> yeah, it's good, but you've done you've done quite well, and I think it's sort of like you've got a lot of energy in the band, and that's nice, you know. So I'm I'm yeah. looking forward to more from you. You know, in the future and everything, you know, so it'd be good. Um, so we, um, should we do a question? Go for it. So we're going to do, we're going to do the first question that I ask every band because there's a plan for this, but we'll, we'll reveal the plan at a later stage. So this is the interesting question. We'll start with, um, we'll start with Louis, then go Jay, then Theo, then Tom. Okay. So if you had a pet snail, what would you call it? <laughs> You see, this is quite a difficult question for me, but I always thought uh, uh, Gary was quite a good name. No, mm -hmm. that's mine. SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. SpongeBob. Yeah. The snail yeah. Gary. Okay. You, so can have thought... your own, you can have another name. So, so Gary or SpongeBob? Yeah. No, <laughs> Gary from SpongeBob. Okay, I don't I don't really watch SpongeBob, okay. so who's okay. Gary? <laughs> is he a snail? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, right. Okay, so there's already a yeah. snail called Gary. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jay? Uh, I mean, it's kind of weird because I used to play this game as a kid called Bob the Snail. And <laughs> oh, man. I called it Bob. I'm going to ruin you here because you can't have Bob. No. That's already been Why? taken. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, know uh, you, I know you tried to get the initiative, but someone else had a different motive. Uh, so they've got Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. So that was it. That was it. I like that. That was good. slick. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, choose another name. Should we come back to you in a minute? Uh, Dave. Dave. Okay, yeah. so we've got Gary and Dave. <laughs> This is sounding like a boy band for snails. Isn't it? <laughs> Theo, what do you reckon? Right, well, since Louis has stolen Gary, um, <laughs> I'm going to go Larry. Larry. Oh, original. Okay. Right. Gary, right. Gary, Larry. <laughs> I, I, I'd go with Gerald. Gerald. Yeah. Gerald, because I, I think if a person called Gerald, and I think this guy is superior, you know, he's a boss. No one's going to want to mess with a Gerald. And I think when I think of Gerald, I think of my granddad because my granddad's called Gerald and he's a bit of a boss as well. Like um, he used to be like a county <laughs> boxing champion. So like you wouldn't well, have a message. Yeah, yeah. So I think, you know, with a snail, and then you just immediately thought that a snail. Okay. So I'm just okay. seeing this this bulked yeah. up snail now. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay, like that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a very sophisticated Steroid name. Snail. <laughs> right. So we've got, basically, I can go back over this. So we've got um, Gerald. We've got Gary. We've got um, I've forgotten the other two. What's the other two? Larry. 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 Larry <laughs> Gary. Gerald Dave. and Dave. Dave is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really great. Well done, guys. Thank you. <laughs> it's such a stupid question, but you're gonna love how we deal with it in the end. It's good. So, right. Okay. So um. I'm trying to mix these questions up that what we've been sent in and stuff like that. So um, this would be an, this would be quite an interesting one because you're you're all fairly young. Um, outside of music, who's your who's your biggest influence? Like, so not not music, but something else that, that someone who would influence you. Who, who wants to go first? Let's go back the other way. Go Louis first, then Jay, then Theo, then Tom. Oh, okay. I'm going first then. I don't know. I, I thought this was a really difficult question because I thought mm. every person I thought of, like, just somehow, like, related back to music in some sort of way. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, isn't it? When yeah. You're in that, but when you're in then that I was tunnel. thinking, I was like, uh, I'd say probably at this point, mo- moment in time, like, probably my dad's because he's influenced me on, like, my fashion style and stuff. And, cool. like, yeah, so I guess good, mate. Yeah, guess and we can down. we can see Jimmy in the background there on the wall. So uh, yeah, you see where that's coming in, man. It's cool. <laughs> okay, uh, Dad. Right, Jay. Uh, yeah, no, like Louis, I would have said people related to music, but um, as probably some of the band knows, I'm quite into tennis as well. So I'd say Rafa Nadal. Oh yeah. right. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always play tennis yeah. videos in rehearsals. To be fair. <laughs> 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 yeah, nah, he's really hard working and stuff. So in that sense, yeah, there yeah. are some amazing tennis players. I used to love um, Ilya Nastasi because of his temper and stuff like that. When back in the day, do you, do you know Ilya Nastasi? Uh, I'm not sure. No. They call him the Stasi. He was. Um, I can't. Remember, I think he was from Malta or something. But he was crazy. But he's, yeah. he was such an entertaining tennis player. He's a bit like John McEnroe and um, yeah. So John McEnroe was quite serious, but. Um, What's the other guy, Connor? Um, there's Connor and McEnroe went there, and Connor was quite an entertaining sort of player, and Nastasi yeah. was like that. He was like really entertaining, yeah. So cool, man. Okay, so Fadal, Nadal, Fedra, yeah. Fedra, Nadal, 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 Nadal. Okay. <laughs> Theo. <laughs> I'm struggling with this one because everyone who I would say is a role model are all singers or people who write music. Yeah. So it's not easy. No, I know. You're correct. I know. Should we do Tom and come back to you in a minute? Yeah. yeah. Do Tom. Have to have a go at Tom and see if he's got anything. I'm not really sure. I mean, 
uh, he's kind of related to music because he's sort of a musician, but my music <laughs> teacher, <laughs> okay. like, he's, like a, he's not like a singer or like a music, kind of a musician, but like, he's just like one of the nicest guys. Um, he's like shaped me as a person and, uh, and musically as well. Um, and like, as a kid, he was very similar to me. And so like, he knows me quite well. Yeah. Um, and I feel like he's a mate rather than a music teacher. So I suppose we could just say teacher then, you know, we could, we could get away yeah. with teacher just about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. That's, that's just, just about get away with that one. I think. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something like, um, Zara Rhodes or something, you know, or something like that for, for your fashion shirt. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Um, you guys, you know, you're all playing country music next week, you know, with, um, with the shirt, you know, it's all going to be country oh, yeah. next week. <laughs> I love <laughs> have you thought one theo no no okay we <laughs> might have to... yeah it's okay my role would be country music players really okay yeah anyone particular go on just say one particular just sort of uh, like... jason isbell okay cool yeah. all right so yeah um it's a hard question when you're in when you're into yeah. something you know it's like if you're you know if you haven't if you haven't sort of chosen other things in your life or anything just yet or, or found other passions than that it's like it's quite hard isn't it and yeah. uh, but it's good that you're in music and you probably you could probably name a hundred people that in music but you know you'd sort of influence you in that cool okay so uh, that's a fun one then um uh da, 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 a fun one would be okay let's see what size feet have you got right who's what size feet you got i'm a seven Who's I'm a seven? A Tom. Man. Tom's yeah, a seven. seven. Yeah. I'm uh, a ten. Who's a ten? I'm a ten. Jay? Louis or Jay? Or, or, all right. Um, I think I'm like a nine or eight and a half. I don't know. Eight, eight and a half yeah. to nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah, Louis? I'm a nine. 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 So if we're in eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Aren't you single? Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then when people ask you about it, you say, "Yeah, it's uh, we come up with it in an interview with the basement door. It's about our feet." Yeah, it's <laughs> brilliant. It's to be an original way of doing something, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna play your uh, uh, video um, of when you did the Battle of the Bands. What heat were you in? Heat? What heat were you in? Three. Three. Three? Yeah. Three. Yeah. So you're in heat three, and there's a video that someone's done for you and everything, and we've got that video. We're going to show that thing with you, that video with you um, playing on the Battle of the Bands, um, and it's called Rain. Well, the initiative, and this is an original song called Rain.
Okay, guys, that was great. So, uh, yeah, I remember obviously um, the Battle of Bands and um, seeing you perform that. Um, great song, great performance. What did you What did you feel um, uh, when you were when you were doing the Battle of the Bands? Oh, it was such a surreal experience. You know, um, it was it was. I mean, it was a fantastic venue seeing all those people um, uh, because we we performed that song quite a few times, and uh, quite mm. a few people know some of the lyrics to the chorus now and seeing them sing it back to us it's obviously a really good feeling yeah that's brilliant isn't it? yeah and obviously the whole experience was incredible we never expected we'd get anywhere with it really and to be in the final feels pretty good doesn't it boys yeah, <laughs> yeah it's great yeah it's good yeah um and it's there yeah, there's every chance because obviously the the judges that we have you know it's just i mean we just don't know which way they're going to go with stuff you know they like what they like and you know, I've, I've been surprised every year with the judges, some of the judges' things. The one disappointed year I had was we had a band called Vendetta. I don't know if you remember Vendetta. Um, no, I don't remember. They were a metal band. They were absolutely so good. They were so good. And they didn't get anywhere because of the genre. Yeah. Um, we had, we had mm. I think, four judges and no one, only one person pushed for them. And it was like, man, that's really sad because they were probably the best musicians the best to watch live performance, the most energy. They, they for me, they had everything. Yeah. Um, and I'm so gutted that they didn't get through even to the next round. And it was like, that was quite sad. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, um, back to um, <laughs> Rain. So who wants to tell me what's Rain about? Go on, Theo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What, so I wrote it a while ago. Um, and the lyrics didn't really mean anything. So then I rewrote it with lyrics that I really, really like, except by that point, no one else in the band liked them at all. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, now I've been censored and I have to sing about <laughs> rain every single time. Okay. About rain for no reason, because it's catchy. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I accidentally forget to sing the old chorus and sing the new one instead. Oh, so kind wow. of have to Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Position of power. <laughs> I've got the mic. You can all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, so um, the 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 exchange was like you say the exchange was a fantastic thing for us this year. Oh yeah. It was, it was a really good experience. I think it was just amazing to watch all those people sitting down watching the bands and everything and the amount of people that came. Um, but also the stage was big enough for you to do what you liked on it, you know? Oh, yeah, so, definitely. Really perform with that venue. Yeah. Event. yeah. It was a really great place. Great yeah. performance space. It's really good. And I think because the, the options there are good as well, because you can actually have all of those seats pushed back, a stage built on the stage, and you can have a proper 500 capacity venue in the same place as you've got a 300 one. So um, I think that that would be, you know, if we can't get the... Um, if Ham Hamwell Hootie can't get the church back for us in Hamwell for the finals when the date we need it, because it might be busy by then, um, then we might sort of approach the exchange and say, let's do the finals here, you know, um, and work yeah. it out from there. It's been yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, um, right, let's have another Let's have a, um, another question. Um, well, I'll tell you what, no, let's, let's say, so, uh, what, what other stuff you've got in the pipeline? Are you writing any songs at the moment while you're... Yeah, you know, we've got a few songs that we've been writing over lockdown. We've got yeah. like two, don't we? Uh, so we? We had two before lockdown and we've managed to write about three or four in lockdown. Yeah. Because yeah. we're not doing anything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we have a few FaceTime calls, write loads of music, write some lyrics. Yeah. People send each other chords riffs lyrics and uh we sort of put them together and see what we can come up with yeah cool Definitely. okay but it must be hard to not be able to rehearse those things together to because obviously yeah. a rehearsal with the musicians is like yeah. as you're thinking oh let's try this you can put it in there and then whereas with yeah what you're doing it just yeah. takes so much longer than that 
Yeah, I mean, I think I mean, we tried that like the one time, but there was so much lag between everyone playing. But there's no yeah. chance of anyone here hearing it. Sure, just sounds like someone banging <laughs> it on the board. Yeah, yeah, it's not cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we can look forward to some more stuff coming out from you over the next year yeah, or so. Yeah, yeah. definitely. If lockdown's over, we're going to hit the studio and record some songs. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And what, um, on just a quick one, they said, so what ages are you now? Uh, so I'm 16. Oh, I'm 16. Joe, I'm 15. And I'm 15. Wow, so it's still quite young, isn't it? So you've still got a little way to go, haven't you? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's really good. It's really good. Okay. All right, well, let's ask you, um, let's ask you another question. Um, uh, let's just check the time actually and see how much time we got left. What's the time now? Okay, so we've got a little bit of time. Um, so I'll ask you one more question and then we'll we'll have a, a relaxed chat about the theories. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> a bit of fun. Relaxed. A bit of fun. Um, <laughs> da, da, da. Here's this one we had in a little while ago with the other one. Um, so if you're on a if you're on a world tour, yeah. What's your yeah. final? Um, no, I won't ask that one. That's not fair. I won't ask that one. What's your <laughs> ultimate venue to play or, or or festival? Ultimate venue or festival to play? Let's go. Let's go with start with Jay, then go Theo, then Tom, then Louis. Uh, I think maybe. Uh, the O2 would be amazing just because of the sheer, like how much you can, how many people you can fit in there. And it's just yeah. massive. And that's always been a pro, a dream of mine to play, play there. So probably, yeah, the O2. the O2. Yeah. That's the big domey one, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The old dogs, yeah, cool. Theo? Um, I've got a bit of a weird one. But so as mentioned, I love country music. Yeah. And I doubt I can persuade any of this lot to come with me. But... <laughs> My dream venue would be the Ryman in Nashville. Oh, I um, thought you were going to say the old Opry. Okay. <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, the Ryman. That is where, yeah, it's, um, it's a big venue for a lot of country music. And it's also quite small and intimate, which I prefer sort of smaller things where you can properly get in with the crowd. Yeah, I think Nashville's got a lot of that going on. So we've got a, we've got a Nashville thing coming up. You might want to watch it in a couple of weeks' time. I've got some Nashville yeah. people going to do a show for us. So, yeah. Uh, We'll enjoy that. Tom? I've got to say Glastonbury headline slot, I think. Not, Not just Glastonbury, but Glastonbury headline slot. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, One that'd day. be cool, wouldn't it? That'd yeah, be so I'm cool. Like 70, like Paul McCartney. Yeah. I remember being at um, Isle of Wight Festival last year and the the Platform One did a thing where you do the, a battle of the bands on the Friday night and on the Saturday you can go and play on the main stage at 12 o'clock. So obviously people are going, oh yeah, but 12 o'clock, no one's going to be there. But actually everyone tries to get to the main stage early before yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, of course. And there were thousands and thousands of people for this band yeah. and they absolutely loved it. They said, what an amazing, you know, you look back at the, stand at the back of the crowd, you can't see them on stage. It's so big um, wow. and there's so much there. So that's the fantastic. So if you forget to sort of do the Isle of Wight platform one, Back oh, the yeah. bands on the Friday night, just get up there, put your name in and just try and get through. You could end up on the main stage and you get like this massive amount of people. And I'm sure they get followers. I'm sure they'll look them up and go, oh, yeah, I want to follow this band. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty wicked. Louis, you're next. Uh, yeah, I had the same same idea as Tom, sort of like a big festival like Glastonbury would be really great to play at. Yeah. I always thought that would be really cool. And yeah, I've always, sure. I've been hearing loads of really good stuff about Glastonbury because yeah. I know people that used to go there all the time so. yeah I've been been a few times in the old days yeah it's, it's changed a bit I mean I think the yeah, last um, the last it used to be a proper sort of indie rock type thing and now that you said I watched it I watched it on tv last year and I was going oh my god we got like Dolly Parton and we've got Chloe Minogue and we've got all these pop stars yeah, on it yeah, really it's that. like it's quite different they make it a bit more commercial I think yeah and all the dancers yeah. I mean you know it's like well we were the dancers it was like it's like yeah in the crowd you <laughs> know it's like I think like dance music came in in like the 90s though so that was yeah. kind of like when indie stuff was still there yeah 
So, yeah. Yeah, I think people I like Fatboy Slim and people like that sort of like, you know, when they, when they started hitting the, the big time and that. And um, I think Darude even played, didn't they? Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, yeah um, stuff going on there. But yeah, it's good. Um, cool. Okay, so that's quite cool. Right, so we're going to yeah. finish off with a little... Um, a little, uh, yeah, a little topic. This is going to get silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we're, we're going through strange times again. I've been through this quite a few times in my life of things being said and whatever. But um, I'm not sure we should do this because there might be some real controversy here. But um, conspiracy theories, um, If you, I don't know, what you could, could you call them something else? Could you say it's you know not conspiracy theory, but it's a it's a it's a belief or a way of looking at things? I mean, <laughs> a way of life. It's, yeah, it's a way of life. Yeah. <laughs> what did you have, Theo? Oh yeah. Um. So I was looking online, and apparently Stevie Wonder isn't actually blind. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! That's wrong. <laughs> In both eyes. In right, okay. Completely. Um, evidence. Oh. Evidence. There was, there's a video of someone drops a microphone on stage and the man just like captures it. And I don't know how you'd do that if you were blind. Um, then there was another one, which was, he was at an event or something and Shaquille O'Neal walks up to him and he goes, hi Shaq, without being introduced or anything. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shaq smells though. Shaq smells, yeah, mate. No, so, <laughs> you'd know he was in front of you. <laughs> Sorry, Shaq. Didn't mean no. that. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be watching. So here's it. So we'll have, we'll have a sort of like we'll have a vote on this. We'll put this up as a vote. So like, oh, okay. So who believes that Stevie Wonder yeah. can see? Um, vote yes or no. <laughs> That'd be an interesting one. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't see people thinking. I don't agree with you. Here. Oh, you don't have I'm to not agree. sure. It's I'm actually I'm on the fence with this one. Uh, Are you? I mean, well, that's, that's not that's not a bad place to be. I think it's like yeah. you know, just a bit of research wouldn't help, but you know, wouldn't hurt. But you know, yeah. it's like, you know, I, it's... I just think that I thought that people who were like blind, their other senses were like more enhanced. So surely their reflexes would be like better with like the microphone dropping, or maybe like the sense of smell when the guy comes in. Just like, <laughs> Shut up. I was only joking about a shack and it was smelly. <laughs> But you never know. No, like, Maybe you've you know I mean. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah you like... know what I mean. Like, something like that. <laughs> yeah, it could be, it's, couldn't it's it? Got, it's got to be something. I, I don't think know. when you're right, I think, you know, like, say, look, with Stevie Wonder, I mean, if, you know, if he's if he's blind and his other senses are improved or whatever, maybe he's got sight. You know, that's another sense, isn't it? Maybe he's got his sight back. Yeah, but yeah, why would he want better. to pretend to be blind? Because then he would look even better, wouldn't he? It's cool, isn't it? Not really. Just wear sunglasses anyway. If he's not blind, he can just yeah. wear sunglasses anyway. No, but they're... if he's blind, he can go, I'm blind, but I can still play the piano. So then it's an even play. bigger deal. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. Yeah, well, Beethoven was deaf, wasn't he? So, was it Beethoven deaf or Mozart? I can't remember now. Uh, really? Oh, shit, I didn't know that. I didn't know Mozart, that. yeah. Was it Mozart was deaf, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mozart. Yeah, Amadeus. Yeah, yeah. He's deaf. Yeah, so he didn't yeah, yeah. couldn't hear a note, just vibrations. Um... So yeah, um, and I think there was a time with Stevie Wonder. I think when I'm looking back and think, thinking like the people of his era and stuff like Roy Orbison used to wear dark glasses. I can't remember whether Roy Orbison was blind. I don't know whether he was blind or not. But there was a few blind people around. Peters and Lee. That was another one in the seventies, late sixties, early seventies. Peters and Lee was a he was he was blind and wore dark glasses. So yeah, so yeah, maybe they all had a. a Maybe they could all see. I don't know. <laughs> it's a trend. It's a trend. It's a trend, yeah. So Stevie started off and everyone said, oh, that's a good idea. He, he got famous by being blind. So let's do it. <laughs> Anyone else? Any other theories that we got out there that we want to... <laughs> Louis, you got any? I mean, I guess I've always kind of liked conspiracy theories. So I've got a few. But the one I've like, I've like this started, it started off the like my interest in conspiracy theories like the moon landing one mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of people have the idea that like already know about this and like have the idea that it could be fake mm. like, you know what i mean because and i can understand why it's fake and there's been like evidence and stuff and 
Yeah, like it's, there it's were no very... stars in the background and stuff. I mean, it's a bit fishy to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Uh, yeah, possibly. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then there's like so, some of the rocks. Like one of the rocks had like a letter on it, like a letter like carved into it. <laughs> so then they said like you know when you're on a stage. Yeah. And they like label all the different like props. Oh right. Oh, so it's maybe a prop. that was like one of the rock maybe that was like a prop and they just forgot See. to turn it over. Remember this one stays here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, they might have checked that though, if it was staged. I think yeah, like, you might you might have wanted to make sure, wouldn't you? Someone so yeah, there would have been yeah. a continuity officer, wouldn't there, going like, uh, hang on, you haven't turned that rock over. Yeah. Let's film yeah. that again. Take two, let's film it again. I've heard some stuff like coronavirus. I don't, I don't know. That's true. That is true. Because they do very, that. There's been some very, very good documentaries which show both sides of the arguments. Mm. I tend to sort of like, I tend to sort of swing towards the sort of scientific side of things. And they, yeah, that's fair I think enough. That actually, yeah. I think that it did happen. But because um, I used to, I used to wonder about it, and I used to think like, well, hang on a minute. If it's if we did it once, why don't we do it again? Yeah, yeah, that's that was my I question, think. but that's that's a typical, that's a typical sort of question you want to ask, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. So I would have thought it wouldn't have been like getting back from the moon is like the, like the thing that's like kind of difficult, surely. I wouldn't have said so know. because the gravity is not there, is it? So just you just basically got to push off, and then you you're going to head towards well, Earth. Just swing you? home. You swing just home. Push with your finger. You can probably get there. <laughs> Let's go home. Off we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the re-entry that would be the thing, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, it'd be interesting. Where do you think it might have been happened then? Why? Do you, where do you think the main landings might have been? What filmed? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like a set. Like probably it was probably like a set, wasn't it? In like, I've heard so... it could have been filmed in like a desert or something. Yeah, that's what ne- Nevada desert or something. Yeah. 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 But I so don't what, know because I. What I've, about the rocket I've, that went up though? Because I mean, I was I in 1969. I watched the rocket leave Cape Canaveral. I don't know. Is it called well, Cape Canaveral still? And I watched it go up. So we all saw this rocket go up. So what happened to? How that? do you know that it actually went to the moon though? It could have just well, gone up. And yeah, then, like, yeah. You know when it like just snaps in half and then like falls down. What? Yeah, like, but then the people it, came it, like, back. It breaks into two pieces. The rocket doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Then, like, one of them falls down and the other one, like, flies up. I don't know. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know. (laughs) There's going to be people watching this, you know, shouting at the screen stuff. They're going to be all shouting at the screen, aren't you? So thank you for shouting at the screen that we can't hear you. Um, So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a a little. So we'll have a vote on the uh, is Stevie Wonder blind and (laughs) did did, did human beings land on the moon? Okay, right, guys. I think we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Leave the world in in uh, dispute again. Um, I yeah, don't yeah. think there's any more questions now, but we it's been lovely talking to you, and yeah, um, yeah. and hopefully we'll we'll see you again. Um, yeah. Well, we hopefully you'll be on the on the lineup for the um, finals of the Battle of Bands, and hopefully you'll be able to make the date and everything when we set it out. Yeah, um, yeah. And as soon as I can get that date, I'll let everybody know that's in the Battle of the Bands finals to get themselves ready and everything and then it's a matter of i think we want to probably try and give you um a couple of weeks at least of rehearsal time you know because yeah, yeah, yeah. if we come straight out of lockdown and go right now we're going to do it immediately it's like no one's had time to rehearse it's going to be an absolute yeah. shambles you probably will you'll probably be joining other bands on stage it's, it's not my band I'm not with this band <laughs> yeah. which would be yeah. good would it yeah, yeah. um yeah. Okay, good. So thank you very much, guys. Um, um, well done for doing this. And um, yeah, and hopefully we get a lot of views. And, All right, uh, cool. We'll push on. Yeah, All right. Thank you. All yeah, right, guys. Yeah. God bless you. Cheers, man. Thanks. Yeah, Bye. Thanks. Bye. So, hi. Um, so welcome to Motive to uh, yeah, Basement Door Q&A. Thanks for having us. Cool. Um, and um, we're, we're going to have a little interview with you. And um, I think we, we've got a song to play later on or a video or something, haven't it? Yes. Oh yeah, Rush. Yeah, yeah. Rush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rush. Yeah. So um, we'll we'll have a chat about that in a little while, um, and um, and we'll uh, yeah we'll go through some of the questions that we've been sent in for you, um, and see how we go on. Okay. All right. Lovely. Cool. All right. So um, do you want to just quickly introduce yourselves in case people can't see your name at the bottom of the thing and you don't know who you are? Should we start with Max? Sure. All right. I'm Max. I'm uh, 
room guitarist and singer and sometimes songwriter for the band. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. James? Hi, I'm James, lead guitarist in the motive. <laughs> cool. The other James? Um, I'm Jamie or James, whichever one, um, the drummer. Perfect. And Joe, the bassist. Cool. Okay. So I remember, uh, oh dear, I don't know how long, how long ago was it when you did, when you did your first, when your first gigs at the basement door? I honestly think, Kev, it was about two and a half years ago. Really? We supported, we supported She 17 at oh. the Richmond venue, the Vart, yeah. Yeah. And that was like one of the first gigs that, because apart from that, we'd just been doing pub gigs and trying to please pub crowd with like, cheesy covers and stuff yeah. and that was the first gig that we were like oh shit this is actually a gig now yeah yeah, yeah. wow that was, uh, that was before my time with the band definitely yeah yeah I, there was someone um, else in the band that we won't go into that just yet but <laughs> uh, but um, my first time watching The Motive was actually at the basement door in Richmond on oh, a, really? on a very very fun September evening in uh, 2018 I think it was I got dragged <laughs> along by a mate who's actually a massive, massive fan still. And uh, well, she knows who she is. And she you've always been a that. massive fan though, James, come on. I've always been a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> now I just get yeah. to live out my dreams. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? What a great thing that would be. If you, I mean, if you guys actually succeed and do something really good in that, what a fantastic start in, you know, in a, in a band, sort of like, you you know, loving the band and then joining the band and being part of everything they do. It's fantastic, isn't it? I oh, think I the only question that. is when, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you know what I mean? You keep keep the hope up and that because it's like you know you've done you've done a lot of stuff. I mean, I've seen you I've seen you doing a lot of gigs around London and in you know so you you've done local gigs, but you do a lot in London as well, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, and I think the music's fantastic. You know, I think just keep keep writing the good songs Thank and you, that, you know, and Thanks obviously we'll we'll hear Russian in a little while, so um, that's a, a good marker. Um. Yeah, so yeah, she's seventeen. So out of that, like Pete Dawson, Harrison Cole, he's done yeah. quite well, hasn't he, Harrison? <laughs> he's, he's done all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. he's yeah. gone down a slightly different route. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's gone down that 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 Simon Cow route, which yeah. It's, it's such an odd right. thing to see because I, I've got his sister on um, Instagram, and I kept seeing these posts like, "Oh, my brother's on X Factor," but I remember him drumming in a punk band it was just the yeah. weirdest thing to see <laughs> thing in like pop songs i was like strange what? isn't it what yeah, he's, done well. he's done well yeah he's done well yeah well i think a lot of people that sell out do do fight well <laughs> oh. I like a straight talker. I like a straight yes. talker, Kev. Uh, give me a call, he's Harrison. Not, we'll have no. a chat. <laughs> um, he's, ma- he's definitely making more money than us, though. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes, yeah, it's it's good. I mean, if you can, you know, I think, I I think the sort of the whole the whole X Factor thing. We, I've known a few people been on it, you know, in the Voice. Um, and they've contacted me a couple of times about bands or people that we've had that are young and they've seen them on our stuff and contacted me. Unfortunately, I think for some people, it's not a right route to go down. I think it's, um, you have to be, you have to be careful who you are because it has destroyed people in the past, you know? Um, and you imagine if you went, if you went on as a band and then, um, and then you got sort of tied into sort of the contract thing with the management teams they give you for, that's a year. You can't do anything that they that you want to do. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. You end up doing uh, really stupid that's... gigs. <laughs> yeah, another part of it as well. You go on X Factor or another show like that, and you become like a reality star more than yeah. a musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nobody actually yeah, exactly. values your musical input. They just value. What yeah, you're like doing. you're just a star. <laughs> yeah. God, I love I love George Arthur's. Fucking guitar playing or something. Yeah, yeah. Games off. <laughs> like, well, that's, how, that's how memorable he is. <laughs> <laughs> I think there definitely is a difference between someone who's put the graft in to build up their own fan base to their own way than someone that's gone on a stage for definitely, 15 yeah. minutes. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. And the and the followers you have will be there for you, whereas those those are like next week when the next guy comes along, they've left you and gone to them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Although you, they still register as your followers on your fan page, but they, they don't actually follow you anymore. It's like <laughs> So yeah. yeah it is. I know um I know um so uh Talia Dean from um King's Daughters, she's done this thing get up with Brian May. Um, no, she was on the X Factor. She did really well. She got voted back in the public and all that sort of stuff and everything. But I remember her telling me that sort of like during her during her year under the management thing, 
she was doing a gig. I mean, she's got a fantastic voice. She really has. But she was doing a gig in Claire's accessories. That's what the management did with her. It's like <laughs> someone getting their really? ear pierced at the other end. <laughs> and she's sitting there going like, "What am I doing? What am Can I you doing?" Imagine if someone like... said that to us. Yeah, you're doing you're doing a gig in Top Man. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> you've got <laughs> you've got Super Dry on Thursday. Oh, oh, super oh, super <laughs> You'd rather do oh, Top right. Shop, wouldn't you, rather than Top Man? I mean, seriously. It's Definitely. Like... <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> so, should we ask a, um, should we get one of these, one or two of these questions done? That'd be quite interesting. Let's get going. There we go. Let's do it. Um, let me just pick one at random. Um, done that one. I, I like, do you know what I think? I'll do, we'll do the first one that I, I like to ask because we're going to put a, a whole series of things together at the end. I'm, I'm, I've got a plan for what we're doing on this first question anyway. So um, it's if you had a, a pet snail, what would you call it? <laughs> I, I hope, I hope no from, one's from this way, then down it, then across there, then across there. Right. I don't know if that's the same on your. Oh screen. yeah, what, what is your order? If, uh, what is your order? Okay. I've got I've got you there, James, and uh, then I've got Joe there, and then I've yeah. got James Royal there, and then I've got Max over here. Oh, right. yeah, it's a bit different for me, but is it? Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's me, me first so, then, yeah? You go, go first, yeah. Oh, JB, it's going yeah. to be, it's gonna have to be like Tequin, something like that. It's going to have to be, a, <laughs> it's gonna have to be like the <laughs> poshest royalty of a snail ever, mate. Tequin or Tarquin? <laughs> no, no, Tequin. There's, there's a few tequin. Tarquins. It's got to be a Tequin. That's oh, really elite, really <laughs> the elite snail. <laughs> Individualist. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to paint the shell all really sort of really nice colours and that. Yeah, yeah it's going to really be like royal out. blue. Yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> Joe? Uh, I hope no one said Shelley yet. Shelley, no, uh, no, it's a good one though. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, uh, there was a joke about that one there, which is like the the girl goes to the party naked, and um, I, I, I'm going to get this wrong now. Cause I, <laughs> I says, "What you come has? It's like my snail." And he says, "Where's your shell?" No, it's wrong. It's, it's, <laughs> it's something like it's something like Michelle or something. Where's Michelle? Uh, you know, something like that. You know. Um, I anyway. up really, Nev. <laughs> <laughs> I really did mess that up. Still laughed. Still I've, laughed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get all my snail jokes lined up and I in a row. So, um, <laughs> Jamie Royal. Um, probably something normal, just like Bob. Bob the snail. Uh. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Don't even rhyme, does it? You don't write the songs, do you? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Bob the snail. That's quite all right, though, isn't it? Yeah, Bob the snail. It, especially if he swims, be brilliant. Drop him in the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> be fantastic. All right, Max. <laughs> I call myself. <laughs> you got what? I call my snail slime. Slime. Ah, uh, because then I could say that's my slam. Oh I'd be without my slime. Ev, can you kick Max out? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll mute him for that one. <laughs> Oh right, okay. Um, now I know you had some questions that you sent in to me, so um, we'll ask one of those next um, before we go to the to the single. I think um, I like the uh, yeah yeah. Any crazy fan stories? Because I've I've heard lots of those. A crazy fan story. Any one particular or. <laughs> Well, there's a good a good one that I remember is we were playing the Camden Assembly and um, there was this girl at the back and we noticed her and we were like, oh, I don't know if she's here for the other bands because she was kind of just waiting around. And then we played and we got off and she came up to, I think it was Max, we all went upstairs to the um, to the green room and she came up to Max, she was like, oh my God, I love you guys so much. And we were like, who is this girl? Like, we, we, did, we just didn't know this girl at all. And she was yeah, like, yeah. oh, I just found you on Spotify. And... Um, I came from where did she come from, Max? She was like tooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, and, yeah. And she was like, I just had to see you guys, and that just blew our minds. That someone that we didn't even know just came to our gig. Wow. That was, obviously it doesn't sound amazing, but it was amazing yeah. to us. That, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, the best That's best really part cool. is that she knew all the words as well. And she knew oh, the really, words. proper fan. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's crazy. Like <clears> when <throat> you spend 
you spend two years trying to convince your mates to come to gigs and then <laughs> yeah. and then and then someone turns up a like, random you turn up <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> The so, turning point for us. So has, has she been to has she been to other gigs with you now? Do you recognise her when she's yeah. in and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She came to the she came to the courtyard that we did with Roman Lewis as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. Cool so, man, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, nice story. Any more? We've got. Um, <laughs> I mean, nothing crazy, but we no. get we're getting quite a few DMs these days. Um, we've got a pretty big <laughs> we've got a big, pretty big fan base in Australia. Which oh is, really? Yeah, which is good. So you've actually had the girl from a band in Australia saying, "Can you send me the chords for some of your songs? Because we're going to cover them when we're out of quarantine." Wait, that's cool. So surreal. Our, our songs are being played by bands in yeah. Australia, which is decent. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's just slime. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we got kicked out now. Well, <laughs> oh, we're doing the interview solo. Um, okay, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to um, I'm going to switch over now. We're going to play Rush. Um, so when did you drop Rush? That was 29th of March. 29th yeah. of March. So a month ago. Is yeah. it doing well? It's doing yeah. fantastic. 15,000 yeah. players in a month. So yeah, That's doing all right. Okay. Well, let's hopefully if people are watching this and we can get some more people. And is it on? It's on the usual stuff, Spotify's and all that sort of stuff. And anything yeah, you want. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's go and let's go and have a, a listen to um, Rush.
Well, so that was great, Rush. Um, what's the what's the gist of Rush then? What's it what's it about? It's a great song. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, it's what is it about? I don't know. To be honest, I wrote this. <laughs> you wrote it. You wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me for. Uh, <laughs> It, Maybe what we... you want, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, so we, personally, we now know pers- you wrote the song. personally, Max, I think it's about it's about um, you at parties. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh okay. uh, yeah. We did have a chat about this actually. It's about it's about Max uh, trying to do Max his thing graft. at a party. Yeah. Okay. Max is hard graft. Okay. I don't. No comment. If you, <laughs> if you uh, if you've ever been chatted to by Max at a party, Rush could very easily be about you. <laughs> just because just, just I need to rush the fuck out of there because he's so shit. <laughs> oh man, all the lady yeah. fans now. <laughs> man, so how many parties you go to then, you guys? You go to a lot? No, not now, no. but obviously before. <laughs> not at the moment. No. Was well, actually actually you say that we went to a party a um probably about half a year ago and it's actually the cringiest thing I've ever seen in my life but there was no one really at this party and it was kind of us and like a load of other weird people just congregating <laughs> in groups and there was this DJ that they hired and <laughs> we oh, actually gosh. made the DJ just put on all of our songs and we were the only people dancing <laughs> all of our own songs <laughs> Do you, you ever wonder Spotify how we're doing so well on Spotify? This is this is just <laughs> all that DJ. <laughs> oh, that's mad, man! I did a I did a party for someone a while back because I used to, when, when I first started out when I was sixteen, I was doing DJ and that's what I did. But it was all um, techniques, decks, and record singles and stuff like that. So that it's not 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 the DJ that you sort of know of now. It's basically you know discos and stuff. Um, yeah. And they, um, so I, I, got, I got hired a few years ago to do a little disco and everything and just use my playlist and stuff and, um, and to fill in for a, an actual DJ that had been hired for the, for the party, a London DJ. Uh, I can't remember his name now, but it, they co- it cost £4,000 to come down to a, a party. Now, when you know that the sort of like the average age was like 50 um, in this party and this guy is doing banging club tunes it's like <laughs> why is no one dancing i don't know mate it's like <laughs> maybe if you sort of got a few teenagers in or something they'd really appreciate what you're doing but these guys just don't do it so anyway in the break when i came on and did my bit i put things like wham club tropicana stuff dance floor yeah. filled up <laughs> two minutes oh, and then as soon as he came back on they all left again and it was like that's shite man that's really bad um, oh but do you know what? It. It's like he made all the money that night. <laughs> I didn't make anything out of it. He made all the money. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Well, um, look, Kev, we'll, we'll get you on support for the next gig. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Yeah, <laughs> I've got some. I still got some Michael Jackson singles floating around. Ooh, uh, <laughs> oh no, no, <laughs> they won't fly. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, okay, let's uh, let's go to uh, another question then. Um, Yeah, so I like I quite like this one. So um, <laughs> this is good to ask a guide band. Um, what would you name your scented candle? Yeah. If you had a candle <laughs> stuff for you, a scented candle, what would you name it? You know what? Let's I'd actually clean. probably do it something like Essence of Bloke. Essence of Bloke. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Because all these, all these scented candles are meant for, they're all meant for women and, you know, like, all nice lavender and all that. Like, yeah. I'd make the one that smells of what's it's and itching your balls. <laughs> <laughs> so I can feel at home, innit? What's it's? <laughs> what's it's? <laughs> oh, I got a good I one. Would, yeah, go on, Joe. I got a good one. I'd, launch, I'd do um, kind of a, a hip-hop theme one, and I'd call it 50 Cents. I think I definitely I definitely have one. I'd have I'd have one of those like one of the, have you ever you everyone knows this smell. You walk into a room and it'll be called Erde the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> you walk into a room and, and, the, and the candle is lit and you you're just in the room and you, you're left. What is that? <laughs> so that's what you call it. Yeah, you sniff around for about two minutes and you go, I, I don't know, and you leave. 
Well, it's down to you, Max. <laughs> Tough act to follow. Back to what? Tough act to follow. Um, I would make mine an herb candle. Herb. Because there's not enough of that smell around, is there? <laughs> Max, what would you call it? What would you call it, Max? I'd just call it the herb. <laughs> oh, the herb. Oh, the herb. Oh, the herb. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> um, right. Um, one more question. Um, Size feet? No. I think my dad wants to join in. Do you want to just come in? James Kidd. Really? James Kidd. I'm just having a hero. James Dad. <laughs> Coming in, James Dad. Yeah. Say hello. You've got your face in there. I mean, oh, he's there, you're not. There you go. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, right, guys. So, right, okay. Um, who's the best dancer? Max. 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 Plus, <laughs> say. So, these parties you go to, what do you other three do when Max is chatting up all the birds and doing all the dancing? <laughs> Uh, when Max is doing all the dancing, we're just watching. Just eating what drink. <laughs> what I like to do, what I like to do is go to the girls, go to the girls that Max is chatting to, and start making really weird accusations about him. Oh, <laughs> nice! That's so lovely. Oh, mate, I wish you were my mate. <laughs> oh, I'm being victimised so hard. One of one of my. Um, uh, we had a few friends, few friends years ago used to go out quite regular and that and we went to when we go to clubs we had all this sort of stuff up at what we used to do with girls so um, we used this thing that you know the, the little toys you get in cornflake packets and that you know plastic toys and all that sort of stuff so yeah. Yeah. that was our job and the, the idea was that we'd sit down at a table with a couple of girls and we would start the stopwatch and see how long we could keep the girls on the table talking about toys in cereal boxes and what our jobs were <laughs> That's, and mate, we brilliant. had to be inventive, mate. Really did have to be inventive. What colour to choose? Blue was Tuesdays, so the to- the blue toys going on Tuesdays, and then um, <laughs> on Wednesdays. That's so good. On Wednesdays we do shreddy wheat, and we have to do. We have to be careful because it's it's not in the actual packet. You have to put it down the side, and all this and Kev, bullshit we come up with. So you're single now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why. Then. You, set a, you set a timer for keeping them on the table. Did you count how many times on a tally chart you said, no, please don't leave? <laughs> no, no, we didn't have that. No, no. <laughs> uh, we just said every time they looked like they were going, we'd come up with something inventive and just like, you know, oh, yeah, let me tell you about this as well. You know, make it really exciting. And then zoom back into the shite story, you know. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what I fun. do, but like yeah. I do that, but not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> you go, so I play the bass guitar, and it's just on the table. Seriously, <laughs> turn that, you go. I tell you another one we did. What was the other one? We did? Have you ever done Sandy the Dolphin? Trainer. No. Oh, so, Might have done it, so, mate. So you have to. This is going out now, so everyone's going to know about this. But so basically, you have um, um, everyone in the group knows that if someone, if a girl comes up and says, "What's his name?" His name suddenly is Sandy. He's the dolphin trainer. So Sandy, the dolphin trainer. One of you is Sandy, the dolphin trainer. Chat up a girl and everything. And you basically, this is this is terrible. What I'm saying now, I, I'm just going to go out live, isn't it? Um, and you, you basically have this big story. So you know, what do you do for a living? Oh, I, I'm a dolphin trainer. And it's like suddenly the heart's going. Oh, he's a dolphin trainer. <laughs> and then yeah, but I don't. I, I really hate my job. I'm really because you know these dolphins. They should be free. And and oh, and it gets better and better and better. And then. What's your name then? It's Sandy. So that's when the questions start going. Is this so this can't be true? Sandy, the dolphin trainer. So then you get the your mates just whenever you walk up and someone say, "What's his name?" You just say Sandy. So that's it. Sandy, the dolphin trainer. So one of you has to do that next time you go out to a party, right? <laughs> <laughs> one of you has to be Sandy, the dolphin trainer. And you have so to get whole whole story yeah. about dolphins, how lovely they are, and you know they speak to you, and you know they give you hugs and all that, and you know. <laughs> Really, yeah, do that. What, oh what, what a weird night a night out with you would be, Kev. Uh, well, it probably wouldn't be like that like... nowadays, but in the old days, yeah. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to ask you one more question. Okay. Um, bucket list person to play with? Band or individual? Oh. That's a very hard question. Mm. Um <laughs> I mean, just just for the pure like, just to say that you've done it, it would have to be. Do you mean like play on stage with or support? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So 
Buccaneers person to play with. So you're you're actually on on stage. So it would have to be God. it would have to be Oasis reforming and asking me to drum. Really, <laughs> wow. that would be weird. just so I could say that I've been in the race. Like yeah. okay. <laughs> that would that would be it. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, good yeah. luck with that one, mate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the bucket that one, isn't it? Okay. Right. <laughs> Who's next? I said Max. What do you reckon, Max? Are you gonna, who do you want to play with, mate? Uh, John Mayer, I think. I reckon. John Mayer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can He's see all that. right at guitar. Yeah. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah. He's not bad, is he? He's been practicing a little bit recently, I think. That's what I've heard. <laughs> so, yeah. He applied. He applied to join the band the other day, but we kind of he didn't quite make the cut really. So yeah, but I suppose the look really. He's got a, you know. Max, which one of us has placed John Mayer in the band? <laughs> <laughs> Me, obviously. Don't yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> right. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about? Okay, let's go for. Um, we go for Joe next, and then we we'll go James to finish. Um. I I'd love to play bass in like Stevie Wonder's live band. Oh wow! Yeah. That's, um, wow, that's he's big. he's he's getting on a bit, um, <clears throat> and I don't want to miss my chance. So. No, no. I went to see him live at Wembley. The guy played for like, oh, what's going on there? Something's gone on screen. Um, yeah, he played. Um, I, th- I think it was two and a half, three hours solid. Yeah, at Wembley he's never a machine. Stopped. Absolutely mental, mate. Fantastic guy, yeah. Yeah, he's cool, man. James Beans. I would love to see um, if I could replace the guitarist in the night cafe and see if anyone noticed. Right. (laughs) 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 So he plays... If they're watching this, we are so fucked. (laughs) What have you done? (laughs) Jamie, I'll spoil it for you. They're not. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> i might tag him in i'll tag him into the thing yeah, yeah. So. he plays oh, he plays a right-handed guitar uh, a left-handed guitar so i'll have to switch that up but like i me. mean I'm he's always got a hat on so much yeah sort of down, all that there, there we go just tied it up isn't it? get the same clothes be sweet <laughs> guys listen it's been wonderful seeing you again hopefully when we're out of lockdown um we'll get you to come and play for us at some point you know as a sort of like you know uh a special time when you're sort of like if you, before you get signed up fully and get your sort of like on your way out of there you know um, oh, yeah. but i you know i wish you good luck and everything and thank you so much for doing this and um yeah and good luck with rush and yeah, everything you're you, doing Kev. all right thank you very much yeah, yeah Kev, you guys. thank you all the best and, uh, all right and the, basement, the basement door is where it all started so if any bands want to do some sick gigs when this is all over hit up <laughs> yeah cheers Donate. thank you guys all right god all bless right. you Love. Stay safe. Cheers, man. In a bit.